Hello guys, in this video I'm going to give you a brief overview of Ubuntu operating system. So this video is targeted to the audience uh, which has uh, recently installed Ubuntu and want to know how uh, things work in Ubuntu. So let's get started. So this is uh, the uh, window you uh, see when you log in to Ubuntu and first thing you will see here this is called the bar and here you can find some of the pre-installed uh, software like Microsoft, uh, this Firefox web browser or this LibreOffice and Ubuntu Software Center and this Ubuntu Software Center will be your one destination to install softwares in Ubuntu. So let's start with this soft Ubuntu Software Center. Just click this Ubuntu Software Center here and it will open this window and it will give you the list of software you can download from Ubuntu. Because when you install Ubuntu, it doesn't come with uh, all the software uh, installed. You need to install each and every s new software, which is third party software by yourself. So for example, um, when you want to play some video, you need to install VLC player. So just go to the search here and just write VLC. And you will see here, you can see here a VLC player. Right now I have installed this VLC player, that's why I uh, c don't see any install button but if you are new and you, you have freshly installed Ubuntu, you will be able to see here uh, install button. So you just uh, type in your the software you need and then you just need to install it. For example, I want to install this Genie IDE, I just select this and you can see here there is an install button here and when you press this install it will be installed in your system so for example I install this genie in my system it will ask for my password and now it will start installing right so once it's installed it will go or you will be able to find this software in your dash home here so let uh, it install and we will see how we can find this genie ide in this ubuntu here so once this is installed you will be able to see this uh, remove button here and you need to go to this uh, top icon called dash home just click this and you can see here whatever software you already have installed and you can search for the software you already installed in your system so we have just installed genie and whenever i write, type in here something and it matches uh, whatever is installed in your system it will show the result here and you can see here genie is here genie id is here and when you want to frequently use these software you can just drag and drop this into this bar here okay so in this way this software center you can find many good softwares and uh, they are most of them are free of course because ubuntu is al also free so most of the software uh, on ubuntu you can install it for free but some of them are uh, cost uh, a little so just see whether they have any cost like these or they are free like this you can see here free all the softwares are free which are here okay now when you start using ubuntu you need to deal with the terminal so this is a terminal so for this first time when you uh, uh, logged into the ubuntu how you can find the terminal just go here and just type terminal and you will be able to find it and just drag and drop into your uh, bar taskbar here and this terminal 
will help you in many things this terminal will help you to install all the software to navigate uh, through er, all the directory so basically whatever you do you can do here in uh, ubuntu software center for installing the software you can install it with this terminal okay so just learn how you can use this terminal to install the things and navigate through the libraries now as you can already see you can uh, i mean make it out that this button you can uh, shut down suspend log out or log your screen right so this is simple stuff there's a, there's a printer here and you can mute and mute of control volumes volume from here this is a wi-fi battery mail and other things now if you want to see the properties uh, like you can see in control panel of windows you can just go to this button once again and go to system settings and when you open the system setting you can uh, set appearance like this or you can set the keyboard brightness language support and other things it will show you the network settings it will show you the details uh, of the software you have so when you when you click this detail you can see right now i have ubuntu 12.04 lts 64 bit so see so if you want to see some details of your um, uh, os or, or of your computer you just go to detail time and date setting user account so it has uh, many things you 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 can see here so just play with these settings colors displays and mouse bluetooth and this will be also very helpful whenever you first uh, open your ubuntu now instead of microsoft office which is which we use in uh, windows uh, ubuntu has this libreoffice so this uh, libreoffice writer is the alternative of uh, microsoft word you can open it and there is something called libreoffice calc calc which is the alternative of uh, uh, your excel excel software and there is something called libreoffice uh, impress which is the alternative for the powerpoint in uh, on windows right and you can install uh, many other things from uh, the software center for example i have installed this chromium web browser from here uh, from uh, my software center ubuntu software center so just type in whatever you want you can see here chromium web browser just click the install button here and it will be installed it's from google chrome so if you want or if you are uh, uh, used to google chrome you can install it from here just search for the software whatever you uh, want in here now you want to navigate through folder i already told you uh, you can navigate through folder using this terminal but by these this mouse how can you navigate through the folders you have you just need to click this folder home folder and you have this desktop document these are the by default folder which you will get and there is a root folder like we have in windows c directory ubuntu doesn't have this uh, c directory it has a root folder so to go to root folder what you need to do is once again i will go here you what you need to go to do is go to home and click this small button on left hand side of home and when you click this once again you can see many folders here and these this is the basics uh, where all the of your software and all of your ubuntu operating system is uh, uh, stored here and users and many things which re is related to installation of software 
are here. So whenever you install some software, uh, probably it will go to the user local bin. Its uh, binary will go here. Okay. And so this is the file system. You can you have this uh, picture folder, video folder here, and other folders here. And there is a recycle bin here also. Just go here and navigate through it. You can see this recycle bin. So whatever uh, folder or whatever file you delete, you can just go to this recycle bin and find it there. So this is the little overview of Ubuntu operating system for beginners. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.